Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to take a finished iMovie and upload it into your Google Drive and from there make a QR code in order to share out the movie that you made. So first you're going to open your iMovie app and select the movie that you're going to share. At the very bottom of the screen, you're going to tap on the share button and you're going to send this movie to your Google Drive. So as you scroll through the different apps, you should have Drive as an option. Now if it's not an option, there's a good chance you don't, either don't have the app or you haven't allowed it access. So you'll need to back out and, and fix that in the settings. Um, if it is there, then just tap on the Google Drive and then select Upload. For some movies, this will take a long time. Some go quicker than others. It depends on how long or how short your movie is. But right now, iMovie is sending it to your Google Drive, and it's complete. So that one was a fairly quick one. So just tap Close. Now you'll want to exit out and go into your drive, and I'll show you what it looks like then in your Google Drive. So this movie is the very next one that shows up, it automatically shows up as, as being processed. So Google has to take some time to take that movie and process it into the correct format. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, sometimes it takes an hour or even longer, again depending on the quality and the size of that file. So right now this movie has not yet been processed and I can't do anything with it yet. I would not want to copy the link yet because it's not done loading into Google. So if you're getting this message, you can't do anything else yet. You're going to have to close out um, and come back later. So I'm actually just going to close that and gonna, I'm going to select a different movie, one that has already uploaded. Now if it's finished, when you open it, it will show you um, the image of your movie. It might even start to play for you, but I'm going I'm going to pause that. I don't want it to play. I want to actually get the sharing link. In order to make a QR code to link to this movie, I need the sharing link. Google Drive creates a link, like a URL address, for any document, slideshow, uh, survey, movie that is in the drive. So it automatically gives you that link, and that's what you need to copy in order to make a QR code. So up in the very top right hand corner, um, just under the battery, are those three dots. If you tap on that, you get the option of copying your link. So it says add people and right under that it says get link. Tap on that. At the very bottom it says link sharing is on and that the link was copied to my clipboard. I don't need to do anything else at this point. The link is automatically copied into my clipboard and now I need to go to a QR code generator and paste it in there. QR code generators are found online. So exit out of your drive, go to Safari or your other web browser and the QR code that I like to use, the generator that I like to use is called qrstuff.com. And the reason why I like that website, I mean there's a couple other ones you could use um, the, one, the reason why I like this one specifically is because you can change the color of the QR code. So if you're printing in color and you want to change the color from black and white to say red or purple or blue or whatever, this is the one I like to use. Um, very easy. All you need to do is keep, in step number one, keep it as website URL. So under data type, it says you, website URL and you just leave it as is. Step number two, this is where you're going to paste your website URL or that link from your movie. So put your cursor in the website URL box. You might have to hold down for a second or two. And the paste option should come up either on the icon of above your keyboard or the actual paste button will show up and you just tap paste and it loads in there for you. So I'm going to hide the keyboard. Um, in order to change the color of that QR code, you can simply just tap on the, the color screen right there. Um, make it green. And you can change the color. If you actually know 
the ID of that color, you could change it there, um, or just select the color that you would prefer. If you want to leave it black and white, you can do that as well. It's just another cool feature or option to make it a little bit more personalized or unique. So once I have the preview, I would recommend checking that QR code before you actually download and save it. You could check it with a, a peer's iPad, or if you have a phone, you could check to see if it works. Um, and then you can hit download. Now this is just an image, and it's been downloaded as an image. For the iPad, I would recommend just taking a screenshot, so holding down the home and the power button at the same time to take a screenshot. Now that photo is in my camera roll, and I can go into that camera roll and crop the picture. So however you access your pictures, you can access them there. And I'm going to edit the picture. Cropping it down to showing just that QR code. I don't want the tabs, I don't want the time, I just want the code. And there it is. So there's my saved image, and I'm going to click Done. Now you're going to take that image and put it into your Pages document. When you go back into Pages, and you click the plus sign to add an image, this QR code should now be in your camera roll to add into your hallway poster. And that is all you need to do in order to add a QR code that links to an iMovie for your hallway poster.